And now this story on the art of music. There are times when a song is given new meaning and relevance by current events, even if the words and music were written years or months before. And that appears to be the case for an uplifting music video created for the Gathering Place Park in Tulsa called, What Kind of World Will This Be? What a year 2020 has been, and so with all the changes and adjustments we've been having and COVID and the recent national narratives with um, George Floyd um, and what was happening, we, among our kids at the Gathering Place, were having a lot of questions. Kids were just unsure. I mean, their world was just changing so fast, as ours, and so I thought it would be the perfect time to um, release such a video that speaks about the innocence of kids and really their hope for the future. Tell me. Tony actually wrote the lyrics, and local songwriter Eric Hyman provided the music. The video was completed in October of 2019, hence, no masks. Five months later, Moore realized it was time to share his message of hope and inclusion. Kids are hearing at the dinner table from their parents, from the media, and they're drawing conclusions on their own, and they're learning through this. Um, and it's important to be cognizant of their thoughts. They can't get out, they can't play in the manner they once did. And so this video isn't a solve or a silver bullet to what's going on. It's really just an honest expression of kids hoping for a world of hope and a world of change. The $465 million park, mostly paid for by Tulsa philanthropist George Kaiser, shut down in mid-March and partially reopened in late May. The Boathouse attraction is still closed, and live music events have not yet resumed, but as you can see... The kids and their parents have returned in large, happy numbers. The gathering place is a place where people gather in large numbers. Unfortunately, in social distancing, um, that's contrary to what we do and who we are. But safety is at the forefront. Masks are mandatory for all staff and for all visitors who are inside of a building. Admission is free, and the park is open seven days a week from 9 a.m. until 8 p.m. We have our operation team that's throughout the park looking at capacity management. We have the same for our buildings. Should our buildings reach a certain capacity, the operation teams are prepared to close those buildings and filter out. And so it's a daily hands-on management and providing a safe environment. notice in the song it says love you must for all mankind and that's really what it's all about is what our park is about and it's what kids are about and kids are the best in exemplifying this and the innocence of loving unconditionally. It's a theme that we adults can and should embrace too.